Hello people and I'm back cooking again. Today I'm going to be making toad in the hole with mashed potato and peas. So first of all what I'm doing is lightly frying these just to get a bit of a colour on them and then I will make them. I've lightly fried the sausages purely because I don't need much cooking because they're going to cook in the oven when I put it in. Um, I've not put no oil into the um, pan as well because obviously they have got quite a lot of oil themselves so that will kind of cook in that as well. I've put my electric oven onto 180 um, so leave it on for about 5 minutes for it to warm up. I'd say if you had a gas oven I'd put that onto probably gas mark 6, gas mark 7. Okay so for the batter I don't really measure as such, I just put two big helpings, uh, tablespoons of plain flour, along with two eggs, and just a splash of milk. Mix that together to get a bit of a kind of um, thin or thick kind of batter together. Doesn't really matter, as long as you've got all the ingredients in there. Now for the potatoes. I've not shown you me peeling those because that's quite boring. Everyone knows how to peel a spud. Um, so I've just done three large potatoes, Maris Pipers or Morris Pipers, whatever they're called. I've done quite a lot of potatoes because we love mash. Okay, so before putting on your potatoes to boil, I would always recommend to wash them a couple of times in cold water just really to kind of get out any um, starch that's in there you don't want your potatoes to taste a little bit funny do you? Okay so I've got the potatoes now on boil uh, I don't really know how long to uh, put on boil for but um, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, one probably about one tablespoon of salt into the water and I added that just for taste I'm not quite sure why I'll put the potatoes on for boil probably about 15 minutes until it's obviously bubbling. What you can do to test to see whether or not they're soft enough, you can just put a knife or a fork into the potato whilst they're boiling. If they're boiling, take them off the heat and then just give them a little bit of a drain. So I've now got the dishes ready for the Yorkshire puddings. Yorkshire pudding with sausages, whatever. Um, I'm doing single ones so it makes it a lot easier. I'll put the a bit of olive oil in so the batter don't stick. So I've put the sausages into the dish. I don't even throw sausages, don't need any more. I'll now pour in the batter mix. So I'm now poured the batter mix into the sausages in the dish and I'm now going to put them into the oven for around about 35 minutes on gas mark number 180, probably around about gas mark 6 or 7 or maybe 8. In. Bit of advice, once you put your Yorkshire pudding into the oven, whether it's just plain Yorkshire or sausage toad, don't, open, don't keep opening the door, because the more air you put back into the oven, it will stop the batter from rising and then you have a flat pancake, not a nice flat pancake. To make. They're the peas ready to go on to cook, just normal frozen garden peas. Not from my garden. It would be interesting though to find out whose garden they've actually come from. Hmm. Wonder how we can find out. So the potatoes are bubbling quite nicely. Let's have a little poke to see how they are doing. Yeah, coming on quite nicely. I would still say another couple of minutes. A nice glass of red is definitely needed whilst this is cooking. So I've given the mashed potato of a prod, well not mashed potato, potatoes and they look like they are done. Just brought them down off the boil again. So I'm going to take them off the heat now and I'm going to mash them. So we've now got the mashed potatoes, well the potatoes which are now going to mash. I'm not going to do it fully because obviously I can't do this whilst filming this for you. But you'll see in a moment. Okay so I've mashed the mash. I've always, I've all, not always, I've all now also put a bit of a knob of butter, a little splash of milk and some little um, pepper and salt. This is the correct way of doing mash. Unlike 
putting Marge in it. Tons of Marge. Apparently something like K's good cooking. Ooh. Well, this is mashed potato done my way. I've now just put the peas on. So they can now uh, start bubbling away. We've only got 40 minutes left for the turning the hole. So by that time, they should be. And for the gravy, just three tablespoons of bisto into your gravy boat. Boil the kettle and then pour the water in. Okay, now so they're cooked. They've spent around about just over 35 minutes in the oven. A little bit longer than I would normally, so you can see they're a little bit burnt around the edges. But uh, that's one of the issues there. So here we have it. Homemade toad in the hole with mashed potato and peas. On my one I put a little bit of butter just to kind of make it a bit more moist. Now we have a bit more gravy. The uh, Yorkshire pudding has not really turned out as, as well as I hope. But it's Yorkshire pudding, so it turns out, turns out as and when it wants to and how it wants to really, doesn't it? So hopefully, this can show you how to make homemade, well, toes in the hole. and might give a few more tips for Kay's good cooking. If you like what you see, give me a big old thumbs up and I'll cook for you later. Bye.